BBs are often the most overlooked part of the sport. You got your gun, your battery and charger, your vest and your eye protection, and you pretty much maxed out your budget. So you decide to go for the cheapest brand available. After all, once you shoot them, you're gonna have to buy more anyways. Or for the real frugal out there, you could hit the field and you could pick up some used BBs free off the ground. What could go wrong? What's up guys, Vincent here bringing you another Toronto Airsoft video from the land of the north. This time we're making a quick guide video on the different types of BBs available and which ones you should be using. Over the years, our gun techs have taken apart a lot of mech boxes and made a little collection of the BBs that we found jammed inside. These BBs are typical of what you'd find in a department store and you could pick them up for like 10 bucks for 5 million BBs. So what makes these BBs so bad? Since these are made as cheaply as possible, sometimes there's seam lines from bad molding, which could jam up your barrel. Some of these are so bad they're not even circular. Roll them on a table and see for yourself. Proper BBs are polished to a shine, sometimes double or even triple polished just to glide down that barrel better. Check out how matte these ones are. No, it doesn't make you more stealth. And finally, there's the issue of consistency. If your BBs vary by even a fraction of a millimeter, it makes all the difference and you'll never get an accurate shot. People are often quick to say their gun is inaccurate when it's really the quality of the ammunition to blame. For no reason should you ever reuse BBs. On impact, BBs can crack and deform and even if you can't detect it, it's not worth breaking your gun for. Make sure that you pick up ammo from a reputable airsoft store and try to get the best quality that you can afford even if that means not picking up that red dots that you had your eye on. If you did pick up some department store brand BBs, simply run them in your grenades. They're a lot less picky. Here's a few brands that we carry, from budget to premium. None of these will damage your barrel, but the nicer your gun, the more benefits you'll see from a higher end BB. We only sell six millimeter plastic BBs. Never run .177 metal BBs in your airsoft gun. The next subject is the weight of the BB. 0.2 grams is the accepted standard for testing velocity, but out on the field, the most common you're actually going to find is 0.25 grams. Every BB has a little air bubble inside from the manufacturing process that affects your accuracy. The heavier and the denser the BB, generally the smaller this air bubble is. So 0.25 is generally the go-to for indoor shooting. If you're playing outdoors with wind and extra foliage to penetrate, you're going to want to go 0.28 or higher. Though the muzzle velocity is reduced, you'll find that the range actually increases because of the added momentum. Rifles built for long range should generally be using BBs at least 0.3 and up. Any lighter and the BB just doesn't have enough mass to travel long distances. The last topic is bio versus non-bio. Biodegradable BBs dissolve in the rain over time, whereas non-bios will simply stay there forever. Check the field that you plan to play at and see what they require. Some indoor fields actually don't allow the use of biodegradables, so make sure that you check. And there you have it, the basics behind buying BBs. Make sure you play around with different brands as well as different weights and see what works best in your gun. As always, thanks for watching, subscribe for more content, and let us know in the comments down below what you want us to make future guide videos on.